Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about God's character. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of God's character is Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 10. It says, Being therefore justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we also have our access by faith into this grace in which we stand. We rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only this, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces perseverance, and perseverance, proven character, and proven character, hope, and hope doesn't disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For while we were yet weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will hardly die for a righteous man. Yet perhaps for a good person someone would even dare to die. But God commends his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we will be saved from God's wrath through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we will be saved by his life. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of God's character is found in 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. It says, Beloved, let's love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. He who doesn't love doesn't know God, for God is love. By this God's love was revealed in us, that God has sent his only born Son into the world that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son as the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, if God loved us in this way, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love has been perfected in us. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Exodus chapter 34, verses 5 through 8. It reads, Yahweh descended in the cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed Yahweh's name. Yahweh passed by before him, and proclaimed, Yahweh. Yahweh, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness and truth, keeping loving kindness for thousands, forgiving iniquity and disobedience and sin, and who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, and on the children's children, on the third and on the fourth generation. Moses hurried and bowed his head toward the earth, and worshipped. Passage number 4. This is from Exodus chapter 3, verses 11 through 16. The scripture says, Moses said to God, Who am I, that I should go to Pharaoh, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, Certainly I will be with you. This will be the token to you, that I have sent you, when you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the children of Israel, and tell them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What should I tell them? God said to Moses, I-A-E-M-W-H-O-I-A-M, and he said, You shall tell the children of Israel this, I-A-E-M has sent me to you. God said moreover to Moses, You shall tell the children of Israel this, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together, and tell them, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from James chapter 1, verse 17. The Bible says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom can be no variation nor turning shadow. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of God's character and hundreds of other topics. 
Now let's continue our study on God's character. Passage number 6 is from Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. It says, God, having in the past spoken to the fathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways, has at the end of these days spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. His Son is the radiance of his glory, the very image of his substance, and upholding all things by the word of his power, who, when he had by himself purified us of our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much better than the angels is the more excellent name he has inherited is better than theirs. For to which of the angels did he say at any time, You are my son. Today I have become your father, and again, I will be to him a father, and he will be to me a son. When he again brings in the firstborn into the world he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 5. The Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face. With two he covered his feet. With two he flew. One called to another, and said, Holy, 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 is Yahweh of armies. The whole earth is full of his glory. The foundations of the threshold shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me! For I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, Yahweh of armies. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of God's character is from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 through 16. It reads, But you, man of God, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and you confess the good confession in the sight of many witnesses. I command you before God who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus who before Pontius Pilate testified the good confession, that you keep the commandment without spot, blameless until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which at the right time he will show, who is the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and Lord of lords. He alone has immortality, dwelling in unapproachable light, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honour and eternal power. Amen. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Psalm chapter 147, verse 5. The passage states, Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of God's character is from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. It says, But Yahweh said to Samuel, Don't look on his face or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him, for I don't see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but Yahweh looks at the heart. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of God's character. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to God's character and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.